Welcome to State of Tech, this is James here with a Samsung Galaxy Note 3 tip for you. I'm going to show you how to clear application defaults. We're going to hold down our home button until we bring up the multitasking window and then we're going to tap on this pie chart icon down here in the bottom left hand corner. Once we do that you see up here at the top we have all of our options for active apps, downloads, RAM, and then this last tab, clear defaults. So right here you can see all the applications that I have set to launch by default. So whenever I click my home button, it's going to take me to my TouchWiz launcher. Whenever I click on a Google Play Store link, it's going to open up the Play Store app. Whenever I tap on an internet link, it's going to open in Chrome. An Instagram link will open in Instagram, and a photo will open in the gallery. Now the way that I've set these defaults is whenever I tapped on one of those options, say I was in Chrome and tapped on a Play Store link, it asked me if I'd like to launch it in the Play Store or Chrome by default, and I can go ahead and set that whenever I launch those. But let's say that I actually want to change that. Let's say whenever I click on an Instagram link, I'd rather it open in Chrome than Instagram. All I have to do is tap clear here. And the next time I tap on an Instagram link in another application, it's going to ask me what I'd like to do with that link. And then I can go ahead and tell it to open in Chrome or open in Instagram or another application that it provides me with. So this is how you're going to be able to clear out different applications by default. Uh, the most common one that you would use it for is, say, a app launcher. So if you download an app launcher from the Play Store and decide to make that your default launcher, you can go ahead and clear it here in this menu to return yourself to your default stock launcher. So that's how you clear the application defaults on your Samsung Galaxy Note 3. And for more Note 3 tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.